I'm a big, big girl in a big, big world. It's not a big, big thing if you leave me. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Karen in London. Today, as you can see, I'm in front of this very, very beautiful building. This is Natural History Museum in London. This is one of the iconic landmarks in London. So when you come and visit London, you definitely should come here. Well, I will have to say this is not only for tourists, for people like me who live in London, and we like to come and visit. Sometimes I bring my kids, and they like to see the dinosaur inside and all the other cool stuff. Um, last year, my children's school, they did a school trip here. So for London schools, this is also a very, very popular place to visit. But today when I got here, I can see people are queuing outside. So if you want to jump the queue, make sure you book appointment before you come. Just go to their website and then choose a date and the time so you can save lots of time before you come in, especially the opening time around 10. Um, there is usually quite a big queue, so make sure you book it in advance. Oh, one more thing. This is free. I cannot believe this is free. So if you come and visit London, this is definitely worth a trip. Well, if you don't have time, you can even just stand outside and take some amazing photos. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. There are four highlights I'd like to show you. Let's see all the amazing stuff inside. Come on, follow me, let's go. When you come inside, this is the first skeleton you can see. It's absolutely massive. I thought this was a, a dinosaur skeleton, but this is a not. This is actually a blue whale skeleton. If you look at this amazing building. Even though you're not too bothered about the skeleton, all of the stuff inside, just look at this amazing building. That definitely worth a trip. Okay, so the first highlights we're gonna see is the dinosaur part. This is children's favorite. But remember, if you are here with your children, you might save the dinosaur for later because once they see the dinosaur, that's all they want to see and they want to just go home. <laughs> uh, if you travel all the way here, uh, like me, I live in Greenwich, if you travel all the way here, it's probably one hour, and you don't only just see dinosaur and then go home, do you? So make sure you see the other things first and then maybe leave dinosaur at the last. But here, uh, I'm going to show you the dinosaur first. Okay, this is the dinosaur bit. Let's go. Okay, so there are four zones from zulu, from blue, orange, uh, green, and red. Dinosaur is in the blue one. Let's go there first. Okay, here, so we're in this dinosaur gallery. Okay, so this is definitely the number one highlight to see this dinosaur. Children absolutely love this, but just be careful. Maybe smaller children find it a bit scary. Well, if you ever get a chance to visit China in Beijing, my city where I'm from, we have a, um, the same natural history museum. And in that museum, there are loads and loads of dinosaurs, really proper scary. <laughs> uh, I remember my older girl, when I took her there, the, the, the museum in Beijing, uh, she was crying. So I'm going to just show you um, a, a small um, video about that dinosaur, about that museum.
last time I was here just uh, before Christmas with my uh, children's school trip, um, and they actually dressed up this dinosaur in like Christmas jumper. That was pretty <laughs> impressive. I'll try to see if I can still find that photo. Yeah, now it's almost Easter. Next week it will be Easter, so I don't know if they're gonna do anything with this dinosaur. Maybe um, Easter bunny, dress up like Easter bunny. I don't know. Not too sure if dinosaur will be happy to dress up like Easter bunny. <laughs> This is definitely children's favorite spot to see baby dinosaurs. A big home. This is a, a dinosaur skeleton. If you look up, and this is oh my god, I don't know how to pronounce it. Chuanosaurus. It's good to know. Come here and learn some new words. Uh, show how dinosaur run. These baby dinosaurs. These two are also children's favorite because they look quite cute, don't they? Okay. It's my favorite from there. Okay, so this gallery for this massive wheel is closed because they're doing some work. Okay, so this is one week before Easter. If you plan to come here before Easter, you better check their website to see if this one is open or not to avoid disappointment if you want to see this big wheel. But I don't think it will take too long. I just see one of their staff inside. Um, and he said probably one more um, one more week or, or two, okay, everything will be done. So always make sure you check the website. Okay, now here we're in this green zone. And first thing you can see this is creepy crawlies. Hmm. I guess there are gonna be some spiders, stuff like that. I do not like spiders. This is the next highlight. Take this escalator all the way up and you feel like you're going to another world. And kids absolutely love this. Now we're in the right zone and if you are here, you can tell there's a little exhibition. It tells our Earth journey from a tiny little fireball to today's beautiful Earth. And if you have time, it's definitely worth um, having a little walk through this. Oh, 
So we're here in still in the right zone. This is the last bit in、um, this museum. That's the last highlight you need to try when you come here. This is basically、uh, to tell us what earthquake feel like. So here. It show us here from the very weak and all the way to very very strong. If you want to come here and then see if you can do it and see what you feel like, and when earthquake happens, you can come here and then give it a try. But if you have any health issues, make sure you speak to the staff. Okay, so this is the last bit. That's orange bit, and it's when you walk out from dinosaur bit, you can see this Darwin Center. Most of people don't really visit this because they think it's quite boring. Actually, there are quite a few bits: the climate change wall and UK、uh, biodiversity and control room. There are a few, you know, displays and, and galleries for you to explore if you have more time. And whenever me and my children are here, we usually don't come here because they can't last that long. They like to check dinosaurs and the massive wheel, the big escalator, and check some polar bears and birds, and that's pretty much that thing. And coffee, <laughs> so they usually can't last that long to come here. But if you are here alone or with your older kids, it's worth、um, having here. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything for today's、um, tour in Natural History Museum.、Um, just remember, there are four parts of different zones in different colors. So the blue zone,、uh, all about dinosaur and that big wheel. These are two highlights. At least me and my children, we like to see. And that bit you can also see different mammals like brown bear. And the lion and tiger and all of these for me, I think that's also quite cool. And then the orange bit is the Darwin Center. People don't really visit that.、Um, whilst if you have time, I think it's actually quite interesting.、Um, and then you have the right zone and the green zone. The green zone is about like insects and different birds. Um, and then the right zone, there are two highlights. That's a big escalator going into like different planet, <laughs> and then that's the earthquake experience. These are two highlights in the right zone. So, but I'm sure different people like different things, and then when you go there, you might find some amazing other stuff. Um, yeah, this is definitely worth a trip when you in London. Um, when I'm inside, I can see lots of small children. So this is also a very, very popular、um, place for children's school trips. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.